Jesse and John are not here, uh, but today's going to be a good show, and I'm going to sit here till they get here. Do we have a time frame? I know I'm early. I don't, actually. I just got to hit myself. Look, let's all stare at Kurt. This is Kurt. That's it, baby. You're going to be in the intro. <laughs> Kurt doesn't like to be shown, but today we are showing Daddy Kurt. Tell him, you got to turn around and say subscribe to the Patreon. Subscribe to the Patreon. <laughs> It makes boring happy. That's a good fucking. That's a good. Uh, it makes boring happy. And it what, you could be staring at a fucking wall, and you'd be like, "I feel great." <laughs> yeah. It. Uh, I took four of them. I took two of them as soon as I got out of surgery, and then two of them when I got home. And it was I, you immediately like the next day. I was all like anxious. Cause like I don't know what the fuck to expect right now. This sucks, yeah. and like I felt myself being like, oh, why don't it I just take off. two? I'll just take two more of those fucking pills, and I'll Ooh, fucking happy pills. fucking completely fade into oblivion. That's it, bro. And you I won't have to worry about anything. You watch the TV, you're like, this show's great. <laughs> yeah, I was addicted this to show's Percocets great. for a little while. Really? When I yeah, when I pulled my back out, it was me and <laughs> actually. And well, he really he he really had a problem. Yep, he really he had started problem. trading. From it, like yeah. he wanted me to trade with him. Would you like to trade Percocets? <laughs> it was, My it, lord, trade me Percocets. Well, then lo and behold, soon enough, he's shooting up in his car by himself. Yeah. They didn't give me That's Percocet. How quick it they happens, gave me uh, Oxycodone or Oxycontin. Yeah, they, yeah. yeah it's, it's the Oxycodone. same thing. Yeah. Ox, Oxycodone. It's <laughs> the same um, <laughs> same chemical, same it's just different brand. Got it. Oxycodone. And they're all like different milligrams. I had never taken it before. This is the first time I ever took it. Yeah. And that shit was immediately was like boom. What milligram did they give you? 10? I don't 30? know. 30? I have no idea. I, I didn't even look. I threw them all out fucking the, the day after. How'd you take them? Orally? Anally? I took them Honestly, rec that's rectally. Honestly, that's the most mature shit ever. Because yeah. I'd be like, Psh, I'll just swallow them all. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to fucking swallow them all. I'm not going to get rid of them. And die. I'll just take them all. Fuck, man. Um, have a really good night. And, and tomorrow I'll wake up and buy it from a drug dealer. <laughs> Because I don't have any more. Ah, fuck! Yeah, I dumped him out. I dumped him out. Are we recording? Of course. Oh. Time. Nice. I like it. You guys are sneaky. <sighs> sneaky! You think he's a You think he's a fucking, like, real follower? No, I think he's a millennial. You think he, he just stumbled across the Lunchroom podcast Kurt and decided said, to comment this? I think he's a millennial. This? Well, he said he's, Kurt, he literally says he's a millennial. Yeah, he based on his compare. comments, they're all millennials. I can't get it. I still yes, can't we get are. It open up. Really? If you want to identify with Gen X, you could do that with your old ass. I don't. I rather Wait, be a fucking millennial. You can't read the so comments. You're just a millennial, just because you want to be. Kurt, how did you read the comments? Because I don't know. It just comes up. Comes up on what? On my phone. You listen to the podcast on Apple. I don't listen to it at all. I watch it 90,000 times. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you see? I don't understand. Because I did, check everything. Who's the guy? What did he say? I'll go after this guy right fucking now. I check now. the ratings. I check I got, everything. I, I, got, I, got no, I got no filter. I can't click anything. I got no filter. Zero. I, I don't give a flying fuck right now. He's on a couple fucking Xanax. He's ready to go. He's like, listen, I ate half a bag of shrooms. I don't give a fuck about I, my I got, life. I got a bag of shrooms in my desk right now. I'll fucking, <laughs> I'll fucking eat him right here on live. Say I won't. On live. Say I won't eat on live. All the mushrooms. Oh, can we give Jesse a couple? Mushrooms? I'll take fucking feed pics right now. Let's put them up on OnlyFans. I think that would be actually be hilarious. What? Can I we actually give have Jesse really some mushrooms. Feet. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, it's funny. It's like you were not talking about the same thing. I know. <laughs> I'm talking about. I'm talking about mushrooms. This guy's is like. I have really right. dope feet. I do. I really do. <laughs> Very smooth. Hey, take a look at my feet, dude. <laughs> you ready for it? Yeah, we yeah, got, go got it. is titled If Racist Closed Minded Millennials Never Grew Up. Mm. One star. <laughs> 90% of the stuff they talk and have strong opinions about are things we millennials used to think were cool to say and think in early 2000s. Racial slurs, calling things gay, grouping a specific content, <laughs> and applying a stereotype to anyone from there. Grow up, dudes. If you want to grow your audience, maybe try not making the general population uncomfortable. What's his name? <laughs> What's his name? Not everyone who listens to podcasts is from Staten Island. Hey, no not name. wait, wait. Uh, th th wait that's his Staten name? Island. I love that. We're not from like Staten Island, you cock sucking bitch. Yeah, first DRS from one. Uh, Nonly. Oh, see, oh, you can't yeah. even have a real name, you fucking pussy. I fuck you up in front of this studio. Does he studio. have a picture? Does he have a picture? <laughs> hey, Here's the address. What's his name? Come D to our studio. Say it to my face, you little <laughs> bitch. 
<laughs> Say it again! <laughs> DRS1. Hey, DRS1, why don't you fucking gurgle my balls, you little fucking twat? <laughs> Jesse's like, what's the best diss I can say? <laughs> hey, DRS1, here's my balls. <laughs> Lick them, suck it. You just said diss. L suck it, you little bitch. <laughs> it's funny that like people from like the rest of the country, like their go-to of like New York is Staten Island. Yeah. I know. Makes no sense. I know. It's, it's like hilarious. the smallest population of people. It's like Staten Island so far. Yeah. yeah. Driving Nobody there is like there. driving to fucking Africa, I mean, bro. Nobody goes your there. Your boy's going to get mad for me saying this, but Staten Island's like basically New Jersey. Dude, it, it is. is. <laughs> it is. Every time I drive to Justin, I'm like, fuck, bro. <laughs> one time, one time when I used to sell beer, I got stuck on Staten Island on when it was raining out. Took me eight hours to get off no, that bro. motherfucker. <laughs> Dude, it's Isolate. Late. I tried I to saw stay away. No, bro. I'm driving up to Justin's studio. It hasn't snowed yet. And there's weird. piles of snow <laughs> on the side of the road. I swear to God, bro, I was losing my mind. I'm like, I'm like, did it fucking snow? Yo, that shit's from last year. The fucking he's pollution like, preserves he's that like, shit. He's like, oh, nah, bro. He's like, this area's like... I'm like, what? It's a little extra cold over here. <laughs> it's like driving from fucking, like, uh, to Montana. I'm like, where the <laughs> fuck am I, bro? Why is there snow on the ground? I'm telling you, bro, it's pollution. That shit preserves it. That's last year's snow. Dude, Made what Made it all fuck? summer long. Are the Scarlata kids, they're from Staten Island, too? They're also from Staten Island. Yeah, but so almost... is Meals Like Who's. They're all from fucking Staten Island. All those fucking guys. They're all fucking gremlins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Justin's the only normal pretty boy. Off. He's the only one. He's, He's the only one Justin's who got answer. the extra, didn't get the extra chromosome, you fuck. Everyone else. I fucking see that. Like, one of his parents grew out of the dumps. Staten Cooge, Cooge has no chin. You know, <laughs> I like he, he just did no something chin. with Jen Selta, Cooge. Oh yeah, he just she's did... a porn star. No, no. What is she's she? like one of the original influences. Yeah, she's like with, a butt. with the butt, a little Jewish girl with a fucking serious booty. I don't look at bitches with booties. Me neither. <laughs> Never seen one with a booty. I mean, I was, the only booty I Kurt, see. Kurt told me that. The only booty I see is my wife's. It's <laughs> the only ass I've ever seen, baby, and it's nice. It's so nice. <laughs> I can't stand that now. They just park on the side of the road. There's oh, no yeah. There's no parking spots. They just park in the right lane. And all of a sudden, you got to get out of it. It's like, what the fuck is going Dude, on? I, I, do you think anyone ever would, like... Would say some shit like that to our face? Never. Probably. No. Yeah, because I'd fuck him up. <laughs> and Jesse, Jesse would put him in a fucking leg lock for sure. All right, oh, now. yeah, brother? Come to the back. <laughs> say it in the back. Sign it. This is, you got to sign it, fucking. You got to sign a thing. That's my thing. I'm not fighting anyone. Come to the dungeon. Let's Come to the dungeon in the danger room. <laughs> Take a step in a wild side, pussy. <laughs> you ever rolled around with a purple belt? <laughs> Are you a purple belt? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's amazing. You ever roll around with a purple belt? <laughs> I got one black stripe on my belt. You know what that means? Killer. It means I'm a killer. And I got half half of one of them ear things that make it fat. <laughs> uh, the cauliflower. Mild, mild cauliflower ear. Dude, there's, purple a, belt. there's a guy at work with who has like cauliflower ear. <sighs> and one time he like did some shit at work that I didn't I didn't fuck with. And I remember like getting out of the car and I'm like, bro, fuck, I'm I'm like yelling at him. <laughs> And like, he's like, like and he's looking. No, he's he's looking at me. He's like, he's like, yo, I get it, brother. I'm sorry, you know. And I, I, def I didn't really notice. He was like a newer guy, you know. I don't. We don't work on the same tour, so I like looked at his ear, and it was just like fat, like. <laughs> <laughs> so I went back to my phone, and I'm like, I'm like, bro, I had to go off on it. I'm like, what's up with that? You know, he does like, you know, he's like, oh, he's a savage. I'm like, ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> probably shouldn't have yelled at him so much. <laughs> <laughs> my accident. I should have got a little quieter. I should be like, hey man, I really don't appreciate it. I was like, what the fuck, bro? And I'm screaming and shit. He, imagine he just comes out, puts me in a chokehold. But Shut the fuck. Most people in that world, they're the opposite. They're like real Very, nice. yeah, They're yeah. real fucking like, yeah. they're not, I was not furious, gonna bro. engage with anybody. I never yell at anybody. And I was furious, bro. <laughs> did, the belt, the did the belts go by skill or just how long you've been doing it? Not in jujitsu. I, mean, I think it's how long you've been doing it. Not in jujitsu. No? No. Not, not, I mean, like. I feel like at a certain point, even if you suck, your sensei yeah. or whatever is going to be like, here Sympathy you go. belt. Here you go, bitch. Here's the rainbow. No, you know, you've been doing this for years. <laughs> you still suck, but here you go. And it's, it's, like, oh. <laughs> it, it's like that in every other martial art because in every other martial art, you don't really spar. You don't really spar the way you spar in jiu-jitsu. So if you have, I like, guess, yeah, that's true. if you have a blue belt, you've been doing jiu-jitsu for at least two, like, 
most of the time it takes two years to get a blue belt for the most part. Most academies won't promote you to blue belt unless you're doing it for two years. Oh, so there is a time constraint because you could be a savage and they're like still white. No, there's a time aspect to it. But what, what the point I'm trying to make is that like if you're able to do this for two years, you're already – substantially beyond what a regular person who doesn't for, fucking... For sure. If you're doing it for six, seven, yeah, eight yeah, years, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're somebody who is but very... There has to be people to, who are like, no, no matter what, they just suck. They no, just love it. There's different, like, um, like there's what there's like competition players, and then there's like people who do it like, like what we do. There are people that like are competing all the time. Those guys, like, so I'm a purple belt, and you have a competition purple belt. A competition purple belt is going to be substantially in better shape, much more like, so there's levels in terms of ins like, like the belt is just a first level of indication. Let's say you started your own gym. Can you buy a purple belt? No. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. If your name was Jesse Viola, you owned the gym. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. And you technically owned the sensei. Can you tell him, listen, cocksucker, you want to work back here? I need a purple belt. <laughs> no, I feel like I have a lot of friends that feel that way about me. No, uh, like, I know you didn't, but I, that, uh, that's hilarious. I have one of my friends whose brother is a professional MMA fighter, and, like, we grew up together. And he's, like, a super athlete fucking, like, in school. Like, he was guy was always, like, fucking the bet John, a good friend of John's, too. And we're out one night, he's fucking wasted. And he's like, bro, I could, uh, there's no fucking way in the world. I could fuck you up. There's nothing, there's nothing, there's no sport, there's no physical activity that you, you that? can do Wait, better than me. He tells you that. Yes. Oh. And so I'm like, because we, we all grew up together, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His brother's a, a pro, a UFC guy. <laughs> Just I'm like, call, I'm like, no, I say, call your brother. Call your brother and ask him what he thinks. And his brother's like, yeah, bro, I'll wax you in a fucking, in, in a second. And he was just like this. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> like completely like, eh, taken out of him like couldn't fucking because it's one of those things to where it's just like anything else you know Jesse's like listen man you're a pro but I'm it's like I'm a real pro yeah <laughs> I've never fought in a pro fight well, that's because I, mean, I don't have to I'm too dangerous well, they I'm told on, me I'm, I'm not on, allowed I'm on the injured list now so. <laughs> Jesse's like they got me on the list that I cannot be involved in pro <laughs> fights too scary <laughs> Is so there like, like a registry or like a scroll somewhere of like all the people who have what belt they have? Like is there like a national registry of belt colors? Or it's just like you just assume once you have the belt, you are that belt. I just go buy one walking in with a black belt like everybody down. So like, <laughs> what, so like one sensei – oh, they sensei yeah. is no, right? One guy – He's saying sensei is well, not Professors. Professors. I'm, what are they? Professors. Professor, professor yeah. Well, a professor hey. gave you the purple belt. Would another professor say you're not a purple belt? Yeah, they, that exists. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Oh, I'm sure. Definitely. I'm sure there's wow. so many different schools of thought. That's I, I'm sure people look at old schools like, oh, look, black belt. No. He would be pink belt there's, in mine. Yeah, right. There, yeah. There's there's like spectrums. Like there's like younger guys who have gyms that are like like that want to promote people faster so that they can so, they look so that they look better. Yes. Yeah, that's there's, bullshit. There's the opposite side of the spectrum. Like super old school Brazilian guys who fucking, you know, will make you wait fucking years and years, right. which is another extreme level of. But that's what we just said, though. Like, there are definitely people who are just giving away no, these belts. That, yeah, it's arbitrary. No, that's, yeah, that exists, but it's not. What I'm trying to say is that, like. In totality. In, in totality, totality right. I think, my personal opinion from my experience, 90% of people doing jujitsu, Brazilian jujitsu, that are sparring are. Not like fucking people who go to fucking, you know, cardio kickbox or fucking MMA fucking, you know, kickbox training. It's a completely different fucking thing. Yeah, yeah, you got to fight. And and that, you know, five minutes on the ground with somebody, you what know, most people can't do doing? that. I got a fucking peanut stuck in my tooth. <laughs> Why'd you move all the way over here to do that? <laughs> I thought you were not. choking, dude. That's I'm like, oh, Jesse's fucking talking. I'm like, what is John doing? He just moves all the way down. He's <laughs> I'm like fucking breathing heavy right now. I'm fucking, you all right? I'm, I'm oh. in bad shape. Mm. What's the matter? I need mm. a fucking pill. Mm -mm. What? It's not because you're in bad shape. It's because you just ate four fucking gigantic That's rainbow true. cookies. true. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> My sugar levels are so high and I have no idea why. We're at the fucking coffee shop and this guy, there's like a tray of, <laughs> there's like a tray of rainbow cookies. And he's like, yeah, let me get one of those. And then the girl's like, how many? He's like, I don't know, four. And I'm <laughs> oh my God, dude. I didn't realize they were that big. They were huge. <laughs> they were big. And you ate them all? I ate them all. I offered him one. Back. He didn't want it. 
<laughs> yeah, because John's on a fucking journey. Dude. He is. John's um, like, do you have a piece of broccoli for me <laughs> that I can fucking chew on? You know, what the fuck? No, no, no snacks for me. The only snack I like is a carrot. <laughs> this is a fucking temple, bro. This is an absolute temple. Right here. <laughs> I'm on the oxy oh. rainbow cookie journey. John probably wakes up so good in the morning. You probably feel so good in the morning. Yeah. I wake up, I'm like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> jump out of bed. Surviving. I'm like, babe, can help me up. You know? Just, John wakes up, he's like, ah. straight out of bed, giant boner. <laughs> you know? He just grabs a raw piece of broccoli, chews on it, and he's like, thank you, breakfast. Grateful. <laughs> you still I'm get, grateful for you, breakfast. You still, get, you still get a big boner in the morning? Oh, yeah. Do you? Hard yeah. one. Every yeah. morning? Pretty much. I wake up every morning with it, but this because of the testosterone. <laughs> I never, bro, for years I didn't wake up with a fucking heart on. Then I started the that test. Must have you. Every no, after a while you get used to it. I'm mm. like, ah. <laughs> small always, daddy. Isn't it mostly because you gotta pee? Yeah, usually for me. I think that's what it is. Whatever it is, no. now it's rock solid. What do you mean no? I, you, I think you have to pee any which way you look at it, but I think the boner yeah. is not related to that. I don't think, yeah, pee. the boner has nothing to do with, it's like, oh, you have so much urine, your dick's hot. So why do we, <laughs> so why do we, <laughs> Kurt's like, I, I just had so much I, pee I, in me, my, it makes my dick swollen. First of all, <laughs> as soon as you piss, it goes down. Second of all. Yes, it goes down. You yeah, know, because the fucking. Every morning because of our testosterone, that's it? Yeah. I mean, me, what I are you got, I, I know what I'm dreaming about. What are you dreaming about, daddy? <laughs> I don't think I have a testosterone issue. So you wake up with a boner every morning. Why are we waking up with boners? Listen, Jesse's test could be 80, and this motherfucker would be like, I've never had a testosterone <laughs> issue in my life. Well, I've never had it checked. Have you ever seen me yell at my employees? <laughs> actually, I think Someone with no right. test could never. Who, me? Oh, no. It, you're Yeah, you're wrong. It, says it doesn't have anything to do with the urination. So yeah. what are we doing? The, the urination usually makes you lose the erection. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the but that... But that, Erection in the morning happens because of high level of testosterone. Yeah, during, told during you. the REM stage of sleep. Yeah. Oh, so when you're REM stage, you fucking mad. I don't bitches. get much REM anymore. <laughs> you get mad ass in your REM stage, Yo, baby. I, I use Whoop. I always have good REM, bro. I fuck. I got proof. I got receipts right here. Yeah, I got my receipts. REM. <laughs> my REM because of my past my wow. past mistakes is horrible, dude. <laughs> I'm 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 in REM probably like. 10% of my sleep. That's yeah, not good. I'm not, I'm no, it's horrible. I do like 40, 50%. What do you want? Oh, that's crazy. Man. You have an erection because you have sufficient testosterone to produce one at night, and it says males average about nine erections during their sleep. Yeah, baby. Wow. Oh, so oh, so it's up, down? Up and down? So it's up, down. It's like, shoot, up, down. Wow. Really? Wow. It's like push-ups, baby. I wonder if that's why you wake up having to pee. <laughs> what? Yeah, push-ups, baby. And one of those nine times is when you fucking have a wet dream. Still, <laughs> well, we've spoken about wet dreams before. Still, still never I've had. spermed all over myself at, uh, at night. Still never had one. What I don't want to talk about. I want to get yelled at for fucking double dipping. Why? On topics. Talking about it again. Oh, well, yeah, but so what? That was like the first episode we talked about semenizing our pants. <laughs> See, Kurt, how was your party? Uh, it was light. Not a lot of people, but it was fun. I went way too quick to the IPAs. I drank nine... Heavy IPAs. Wait, you, you had a party? And got trashed. Did you get invited? I had a little get together. No, I wasn't going to invite him. It was him. your birthday? No, no, no. It was just <laughs> oh. my wife wanted to. Did you to just say I wasn't going to invite him? Is that what you said? <laughs> no, yeah, he why? wasn't going to want to go to that. Why not? How do you know? You're not friends with him? I just know. I've seen him at two parties and I. How I, do you know, Cox? Are you trying to say it was too white? No, yeah. not <laughs> Billy Joel no. on all the fucking just said, nope. I've seen him We're at two parties. We just sang to Billy Joel. You wouldn't understand, you fucking Puerto Rican <laughs> spit. No, we were just rolling dice and drinking beer. Like, I mean, that it, sounds it, like so Kevin Lopes. What the fuck? I love CeeLo. What's up? It wasn't CeeLo, motherfucker. Oh, my dice. bad. Ball dice? Yeah, out. No, it was ball dice. Four, five, five six, baby. What's up? A little bit of CeeLo. Ball dice is the name of the game? Ball dice is what five heard that Was that invented in like Why didn't you go? Why didn't you guys go? I mean, take a look at me. He was. I was busy. Was, John just went. Ugh. He didn't want to go, and he almost. Came. I would have went if it was outside. I don't like going in people's houses. I had houses. a fire outside. Oh, you did. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Oh, John, he's such a bad faker. I oh, know. well, if you would have told me about the flames outside, I would have definitely. Wow. I expect totally to different story. <laughs> I John's can't. like, oh, you did? Oh, fuck. Man, I wish I would have known. Jeez Louise. Wish I would have known. Jeez Louise. No, I, uh, I can't be around that fucking atmosphere. Those are I all guess. the things I love the most. I'll fuck, next thing you know, I'm waking oh, up in a nice truck again. Yeah, he shows up eating his carrot. You know, he's like, what's <laughs> up, guys? No gambling, please. I'm struggling right now. Oh, Whoa, bro, gracious. what's wrong with you? <laughs> Is it your arm? I don't know. Well, grab the stress ball right. and, then, and then relax. 
Grab that shit. One with us. That's so weird. That fucking ball is so weird. It's, it's like in a such a, it's in, and it's like in a perfect case. They're like, they're like, Jesse, we know you're a pussy. So we put a stress ball right by your arm. When you when your heart starts palpitating, you're not dying. Just grab your stress ball. I asked the surgeon, I'm like, what's the ball for? He's like, yeah, it's for your dog. <laughs> like, I like this guy. I like this guy already. Oh, man, it's hilarious. So you can play fetch. <laughs> <laughs> we know you love your fucking dogs. It's for you to play fetch. Oh, man. What's the matter? Your, your heart feels like it's going a little crazy? Palpitations? Yeah. No, no. I'm all right. What do you feel like? It might be the rainbow cookies like he's talking about. <laughs> it's a combination yeah, of the fact down. that I, my arm is fucked. I got this fucking sore in my mouth, plus the rainbow cookies. You got a drink, man. You want a drink? <sighs> you should have a yeah, drink. Yeah, you should. You Why don't you just might have a drink? One. What? What are you talking Take about? Booze? Yeah, haven't had a drink in a long time. Jesse, have a drink. What do we drink, got? Drink, 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 drink. We'll give you one of these. I don't know, there's what, something. Is it a pink one? The strawberry one. I can't. Oh, do I don't you know. like the one. strawberry one? I'll I'll yell at you. Have I'll a fucking you strawberry is. drink. Tell me what we got. Good. Chug it out of a boot. Let's go. Yeah, do it. Das boot. Send somebody to the store to get me something good. That'd be me. That guy's like, tell one of our lads. We got strawberry and watermelon. over to seven. What'd you say? Strawberry and watermelon. Strawberry. Spicy watermelon. I've been pretty like good it. about not drinking. I haven't really the, drink uh, Yeah, have a drink. Calm down. Right? It's good for you. Cheat out. Seriously, it's I'm good sure for you. you got whiskey here somewhere. I don't There's that shit up there. Yeah, I mean, no, that's, I don't fuck with, I don't fuck with it. There's, well, there's nothing in there. What do you mean? That's from Scafidi. I know. That thing was huge. Who drank it? Do you empty it? Kayla. <laughs> yeah. No. It's yeah. That comes around. Every time she, she comes here, she drinks that. Really? Did she write a song about it too? She wrote a song about Casamigos. Did she write a song I about Patron. Yeah, yeah. She wrote a song about Casamigos. I think Patron. It's like it's like raindrop, drop top. <laughs> Put him in the phone when it's hot top. Casamigos. Suck it on my hot cock. Wait, she which is she a rapper? Yeah, no. <laughs> singer. Oh, she's a singer. Is she a good singer. She was in a Starbucks voice. commercial. Her, one of her songs was a Starbucks yeah, commercial good. one year. Is she a good singer? Jesse's gonna make her a star. <laughs> Jesse's like, <laughs> Jesse's like, sing, sing for me, baby girl. Go, shut the fuck up. This is really good. Jesse's like, I saw, I saw that bitch. Oh, uh, what's happening? What else we got? <laughs> Oh, you could have been better. Yeah. Makes you feel good. The Sunday episode was weird. Why? I don't know. It's the weird energy. I did. I did. I'm not a big fan of the morning ones. But I feel like it was good. It was no, good. it was a good episode. But I'm not a fan of the morning. I'm just not a fan of the morning. Generally a, speaking, uh, gen yeah. I don't mean like. <laughs> I don't mean like podcasts. I just mean the morning in general. It's the morning. I'm usually very depressed. What's your morning routine? Uh, wake up at four. Jerk it. Try not to snooze. <laughs> Sometimes be late because I snooze twice. <laughs> this is like the opposite of all like the the uh, motivational podcast when it's like, there's a, what's your morning routine? Oh, my morning routine is survive. Get to work without falling asleep or crashing and into a wall. <laughs> How many vape pits you take in from the time you wake up to the time you? The morning I wake up, I I I sit up, I go into the bathroom, I look in the mirror. <laughs> I swear to God, dude, I look in the mirror, I look at my face, and I'm like, it's almost over, brother. <laughs> All right, I say. I look at my. I look at. It, I, I'm saying you're almost there. All right, I take a big fucking pull. <laughs> oh my god! I sit down to pee. All right. I sit down to pee. I grab my clothes that are literally on the heater because I want my clothes to be hot. <laughs> oh my god! That's a hack. That's a little bit of a hack. Yeah, I That's put nice. my fucking clothes on. It's nice and warm. Makes me a little bit happier. <laughs> I drink a couple sips of water. I make sure I don't fucking forget anything because my mind, is, I'm, I'm generally retarded at that moment in fucking time. <laughs> I fucking, I go to the door, I open it. I realize I didn't start my car, so it's going to be freezing. So I turn it on and I go back in and I just sit. To your bathroom. I sit. <laughs> I sit and I contemplate my life for three minutes. And I'm like, I think that's warm enough. And I go outside. <laughs> I go in my truck and I try to survive on the ride back to work. How long does it take you to get your first dose of social media? Uh, Probably in the bed. In the car. In no, the, car? the car? Not even. Wow, not inside? That's surprising to me. There's a lot going on in my head when I first wake up. I mean, oh, I'm looking at my kids. I get like, on the phone too quick. It's not good. You get right on the phone. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. I've gotten on. I usually look at the phone 
to see this, to see like what, if there's any like that. Anything. Yeah, yeah. I'll see like all right, like main shit, but then I put it in my pocket. When I worked in the Bronx, I didn't. There was some days I didn't talk to anybody, nobody, not, not even like a store clerk for three hours before. I need my coffee. I, to somebody. I don't have my coffee till six thirty. So like up until six thirty, like when I first get to work, like there's you don't like, get coffee on the way to work. No, nah, I don't oh, know. That's weird. I wake up too early. I would have to wake up twenty minutes earlier. No, I drink coffee. I drink coffee in my house. Yeah, seven like eleven. That still takes twenty minutes. To go to seven eleven to get coffee. And get coffee? Well, uh, it's like a fucking two minute in. I got a guy on straight path who makes me a Brazilian. Every, 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 he, you got a guy to give you a Brazilian? I know. He He's like, I go in there and the guy drinks me up before I go to work. I walk I in, we call coffee. we call it a Brazilian, and then he gives me a cup of fucking espresso. This guy that waxes my asshole clean. <laughs> He's like, I walk into the fuck, I walk into the fucking spot. His name is He's Sadat. There. He's like, I'll oh, you up with him. Mr. Kurt. <laughs> you know, I walk in, I blow my pants, he jerks me off, and I'm like, oh, thanks, how you doing? Thank you, thank you so much. You got the espresso, by the way? Shit's delicious. And we call it a Brazilian. It's our code word. Oh, my God. Oh, and pigeon's our safe word. Sometimes he doesn't like to do it so early. Oh, my God. I can't. I have to have coffee first thing in the morning. Absolutely. Well, that's why I'm on survivor right mode. That's true. When I'm driving, because I have no coffee in me. 6.30, once I get my first sip, dude, that shit's like crack. That's why it's hilarious, because like people will tell me, like, yo, you should probably stop drinking coffee. Listen, you cocksucker. Coffee is the last thing I'm stopping. Yeah, you gotta around. have something. I, I think need coffee's some. been advice. around for so long. You need advice. People have been drinking coffee in the morning for so long. It's like, of all the fucking things, shut Are the you fuck kidding up. kidding me, bro? I mean, unless you have a problem and you drink it all day long yes. like crazy, that's different. I work around you know? heroin addicts and crackheads all day. I'm like, look, it could be a lot worse. <laughs> Absolutely. Coffee's, yeah. coffee's not that bad. Yeah, I don't think coffee is, 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 is an issue. I have I one to two cups a day. Me too. Can't go Sometimes anything. three, but not rarely. Well, I bought this fucking super fancy fucking coffee machine that is not worth it. Fucking, every, every, I love the fancy coffee machine. I have one, but it's so I overused it so much that it got like so like dirty. Yeah, <laughs> it was like yeah, I used it for years, and I was like, all right. Let me I thought that was shit. weird that somebody pointed that out in your post. Yeah, that was weird. Somebody Cause said we what? Because we were just talking about people point out weird <coughs> shit in your post. And on his post after the surgery, it was like, oh, I love to get coffee from that machine you got back there. It's like, what the fuck? <coughs> weirdo. Really? So it was like eight. That's the weird bucks. thing? You gotta see my messages. No, no, like, yours are probably much weird. Why is your face so oily? <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, I'm not that big yet. Although, what? like, in the past fucking, like, I've had a really big fucking run. I had, like, fucking 150 new followers. Oh, this, nice. In a couple of weeks. 150 subs. Run them numbers up, son. <laughs> Come on, son. <laughs> <laughs> Just, Bro, I'm gonna fuck you. At? Oh, I'm 39. Yeah, listen. Wow. Hey, yo. Holy, G, you started at like 650 years. And that fucking. Bro, that's a double. That's a double. That's a big game. I don't game. know. 500 and, and change. For, for not posting started. content. That's I don't solid. post. And that's when he had a fucking robo arm, he did the fucking gray sweatpants. Run him up. The run him up. The gray sweatpants <laughs> for the ladies. He was, meat, meat, print, poppy. This, cock, this, <laughs> cocksucker, this cocksucker was just hyperventilating in a corner. <laughs> I need my stress ball. Now he's like, run it up. <laughs> Run that shit up! This guy's <laughs> fucking sneaking rainbow cookies you know, he's, out of his pocket every fucking 10 minutes. I'm Keep going, going through an emotional roller coaster right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very fucking, you know. He just looked down. <laughs> Jesse just looked down. He's like, ah, I'm going through it. He's <laughs> like, I'm walking around trying to be like, yeah, I'm fine. Nothing's wrong. It's okay. Everything's normal. But I only have one fucking hand, man. That's just for a little bit. Yeah, man. fuck you. How about yeah, that? It's re gets getting yeah, regenerated. Why, why, do, why, do, why do you think the one arm bothers you so much? It takes me uh, like three times the amount of time to take a piss. You know how hard it is to pull my fucking dick Grab out of my pants? That was your left hand. It's so difficult. Why? It's not the same. Yo, that was his ass wiping hand too. Yeah. That's rough. Nah, bro. That's you got to be able to figure it out with your left hand. It's weird, though. It feels weird. No, yeah, sure. But, like, yeah, it's probably hard to finger all, yourself. All, <laughs> all truth be told, it's not that bad. But I'll figure it out. It's not that bad. Not being able to drive, that's probably the worst part. You can't drive? I can't drive right now. You could drive. So are you driving them everywhere? A couple times. I made a deal with the doctor and the physical therapist. They said, fucking, you're not supposed to do it for four <laughs> weeks. I said, there's no way I'm going more than That's a long two. time. I'm no way I'm going more than two weeks. I said, both of you have to realize that fucking Why can't you drive? 
Well, because technically it's illegal to to drive with a with, uh, a, with a sling on, gotcha. and they don't, they want me to keep the sling on for four weeks. No one's giving you a summons with a sling. That's what I said. I said if this is what you people. No are worried about, one is giving you. No one's opening a car and be like, "Hey, lights, registration, sling, <laughs> get out of the car." <laughs> Meanwhile, this dude, let me see your fucking hands right now. <laughs> Do not move. One hand. No, I'm trying. Stress ball. <laughs> <laughs> Grab your stress ball and get out of the fucking car slowly. <laughs> I'm telling you, get out now. Why are you driving with your fucking sling? I'm trying to do the right. I'm trying to do the right thing. I'm trying not to skip the steps. Fuck that. Drive. I'm trying. Fuck that. My dude. wife threatened me. Did oh she? Like, you want... motherfucker! You're not fucking driving your car, you motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> ah! I need to back to normal. <laughs> you listen to me, motherfucker. Do not drive your car. No, I got to give her credit right now because, like, at home, I'm such a fucking crabby oh, bitch. Oh, I'm man. so, like, wait, like wait, wait, fucking. Wait. I what? went over to his house on Saturday to pick him up. <laughs> and his wife's like. on Saturday? I was there at my party. It was, <laughs> early, it was early in the morning. He's like, they had their own party. Yeah. And they're like, we fuck her fire, party. We had a fire in the backyard. <laughs> we were outside. <laughs> We were outside the whole time. Uh, uh, Jane, you guys are so mean to Kurt. Kurt, I'm coming to your party, brother. You weren't invited. Remember that. I know. I, but I'm still coming. You wouldn't have liked it. Send me an Evite, brother. I'll be there. <laughs> you wouldn't have liked it. Alcohol, gambling, nothing that you like. I know. What the fuck? Big booty bitches. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just to look at. No vapes. We had a whole fucking wall of vapes. You could just choose whichever one Dude, you wanted. Dude, you would have liked it. <laughs> Honestly, my white friends would have been like, this is your friend? <laughs> Wait, this is your boy? Wait, so I go pick him up on Saturday, and uh, I first of all, when I got in, this guy looks so fucking miserable. He's sitting at his counter, like, drinking his fucking protein shake. He's like, just hold on a minute. Let me finish this shake. His kids are eating fucking pancakes. The other one's, like, jumping on the couch up and down after fucking eating chocolate pancakes or whatever. And his wife's, like, making pancakes for the other kid, and, and she's like, he's like, John, got to thank you so much for getting him out of here today. <laughs> I need a few hours. <laughs> Get him the fuck out of here. <laughs> she needs a few hours. Oh, what do I have to do for oh, my wife to say that? That is funny. I want my wife to say that. Yeah, you know, no, I'm Get fucking, him the fuck out of here. I, she's she's really trooping it out right now. I'm fucking miserable when I'm home. Oh, man. I'm like, listen, I can't fucking think right now. I can't think. <laughs> Don't ask me any fucking questions about anything that doesn't have to do with me. <laughs> I'm really trying to take care of myself and really. He's like, Papi, the mortgage? The mortgage? Yeah. He's like, what? Uh, you're really asking me about the mortgage? Look at my arm. <laughs> Papi, we have to pay. You know? I don't give a fuck. Figure it out. <laughs> Get a job, bitch. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, That's man. hilarious, bro. Shout out to her. She's she's tough. <laughs> she's tough. She's tough. Well, this is hilarious, dude. Oh. Well, next week you'll be a little better. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Will you be? When do you get a different sling? I'm driving next week. I told the fuck. I'm driving next week. <laughs> so I don't give a fuck. He fucking, he fucking just smashes into the back of a fucking Altima. You know? Like, no ah, more. fuck. He's like, no more sling, but I'm still on oxy. <laughs> Dad, call the cops on me. <laughs> fucking pussy. He crashed it. He's like, he's like, so Kev, you were wrong. They arrested me for driving. It's like, wait, what? He's like, yeah, yeah. He's like, I yeah, I hit a girl, but that, that's not the point. They arrested me. Small details. The, the sling. It was a sling. It was a sling. You the know? dead bitch on the floor had nothing to do with I got, it. I got out of the car, and they were like, you just killed that bitch. <laughs> What's up with your sling? Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny, too. Like When the doctor told me it was legal, I was like, yeah, that's... We, we live in two different fucking worlds. Yeah, I worlds. know. I was like, the amount of legal shit that I've done, dude, <laughs> fucking, that doesn't really rate. Jesse lives in a rich neighborhood. Those cops, <laughs> they're not collaring for shit, you oh. know? Jesse runs somewhere over like, eh, was she in the way? <laughs> <laughs> she was in the way. All right, well, what are you going to do? She shouldn't have been in the way. Oh, God. We'll sweet call the coroner. No big deal. Side. Oh, I'm sweating. It is hot. I feel like fucking Jesse's making everybody the hot. video of this podcast. Like, we, like my face is probably like fucking like. No, laborious. you look fine. <laughs> I don't know what yeah. that word means. Wait, what do you say? Laborious? Laborious. What the fuck? Is laborious gestures. What does laborious mean? Like I'm like labor. struggling, working. Yeah, I'm straving. 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 What's straving? That's not a word. Hey, straving's a stressed out raven. <laughs> that wasn't a word. That was the Cheeto. <laughs> it was only when your head was back like this you looked laborious. Uh, <laughs> laborious. Let's get some steak. <laughs> oh my god! He's only quarter of the way through that. I'll thing. fucking I fucking run out of here right I now. I <laughs>
Well, fuck, I had three sips of a fucking seltzer. And he's like, oh, I'm ready to be a man. It's interacting oh, with God. the fucking mouthwash. Yeah. You know how bad they'll feel for me with this sling on? Oh, oh dude, I'm going to get so many, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, John is emotionalist right now. Uh, no one emotion. I look at John. John's like this. Yeah, because he deals with me all day, every day. <laughs> Fucking. Oh, he's stressed out about the audio. Yeah, a little bit. Is it broken? Uh, it's, <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's good. I feel like I'm on a roll right now. He's like this cock. So <laughs> Puerto Rican keeps I'm, screaming. I'm, 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 channeling, I'm channeling this pain. <laughs> oh man, dude, my chest hurts. Uh, so can we talk about? <laughs> can we talk about some serious? Can we talk about the trains, dude? What, what happened? Trains? Oh, the derailed one. D derailed one. One. Oh, another 100? one happened today. Oh, I didn't know that. No, dude, there's been like four. What do you mean, bro? No, another one happened today. <laughs> Did he burp right in? Just puked on the microphone. <laughs> You're not supposed to do that, dude. We're just gonna have to ignore Jesse for the rest of the show. He's gonna do his own thing. It's just like. <laughs> I'm having a hard time, guys. <laughs> I'm having a hard time. It's like he purposely just burped directly. Like, he was looking the other way, and he went, yeah. <laughs> Jesse's just having a hard time. He's like, my arm's broke. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. Oh Bro, another God. one happened today? Yeah, right today. Wait, wait, fill me in. I don't pay attention anymore. They say that it's going all across the waterways surrounding the United States. Is it the aliens? Dude, it's no, fucked. It's oh, the like government. the thing that happened in Ohio with it the has, big cloud? It's not one, dude. It's been like four. <laughs> oh, this is the end. There was one in Arizona. But somebody said something. <laughs> what was today? What was today? Uh, what was wow, it? Wow, that's a move. Ohio governor one, drinks the tap water. One, uh... Oh, that's the guy? What oh, was man. the one he today? Look at how fucked up he was. That tap water is not good <laughs> in Ohio. I think my wife sent it to me. I saw people throwing rocks into their rivers <laughs> and shit, and all the oil was coming up, all, like, fucking rainbow colors. Somebody told me on rainbow rainbow was Sunday one today. that there's people in, like, Westchester that are seeing, like, blacks, like, Soot on their cars. That's yeah, urban legend. From I, I don't know how true. Yeah, enough enough, but enough I, that heard. they had to like. There's like a trail, like a jet stream, or something. <laughs> you know. Well, honestly, dude, it's it's it's. I mean, that's really far. the end is coming. Let's was fucking really let's just burn it all yes, down. Yes, I swear to God, look it up. I I just looked at my TikTok because I know there was one in Arizona, like <sighs> Seattle. Bro, Texas. there's been like four. Yes, it's Late fucking Monday nuts. night in uh, Nebraska. Nebraska was the last one. Let's just start the cult yes. now. Yes, Nebraska was the last one. It's that's, over. That's not but dude, why, why did he... Why it's either this. Trains? It's either <laughs> this shit happens all the time it's, and they just never talk about it or this is like... Uh, this is happening on purpose. Russia's like sending agents here to be like, derail del reros. And I'm like... Well, <laughs> no, but what about the fucking... Uh, the the, the, the UFOs that got shot down by like the 70-year-old planes? No, no I looked it. into it already. <laughs> I so no, I'm serious. I did. Uh, they figured out. First of all, when these fucking senators and shit were talking, they were scaring the shit out of me, dude. Because they were like, "We just had our top secret meeting, and uh, the we're not going to say that we're not going to tell you what's going on, but the people need to know. <laughs> right. They need to. And I'm like, "Holy shit, dude! Like this is it? Like this is where they're going to be? Like God isn't real? It's aliens, you know?" And I'm like, <laughs> and then you look into it, and they're like, "Yeah." So two of them were shot. Three of them were shot over the border of Canada. Mm -hmm. One of them they found, and it was a legitimate, like, fucking balloon thing that was done in, like, a competition. Okay. Just and, floated away. And the other two were so small, they were really small. They made it seem like these were, like, just aircraft. They were calling them objects. Yeah. they were, were they? They were so small. They, were, they said they were, like, a tenth of the size of a jet. So they think, the other two that they haven't found yet, apparently. I mean, this was, like, a couple days ago, so I could be totally wrong. That's um, it? No, that's not it. That's it's not just it. It's the UFO display. Yeah. And here's the thing, bro. It's like, it took you that long to find it? Like, I Why don't can't understand. they find it after they shoot it down? These <laughs> cocksuckers can find anything anywhere. Like, they're spying bro, on me. You, they're spying on us right now. You can't make a right on red in fucking Hicksville. You're telling me that they shot these things down and don't immediately know what they are? Right. 
That's the thing. They Get like, the they fuck out of here, they, man. They immediately know it. No, what That's it is, is like, like they're trying to distract you from the fact that they're yes. writing in another, like, all right, we're going to take 60% of their money for the tax or bill maybe they're like, year. you know, maybe, maybe they're like, uh, Biden's wife <laughs> cheated on him. we got to yeah. cover this shit up. <laughs> Aliens! Aliens! What do we do? Aliens! That bitch is a whore. You know what? Let's, blow, let's fucking blow up some fucking trains I in know, Ohio. I know, dude. <laughs> Look what happened with the crack with the with the L.A. with the, with, with the, when the CIA was pr- was shown in court to have worked worked with like one of the biggest drug dealers in California oh, at the yeah. time, and then what happened? It was like it was Bill Clinton getting his dick sucked, and that took over the fucking oh, that took oh. over the airwaves. Send in the intern. Nobody talked about the government <laughs> introducing crack cocaine into society. Yeah. Uh, it was like it was like I did not have sexual relations. With Send in the intern. We got a nice little Jewish girl named Monica. She'll suck him off. Oh my Jesus God. Christ, Jesse. <laughs> here's a good here's a good article. This is for this is for Kurt and Kevin. Human resource bosses in the UK have shared they've seen a huge spike in the number of their employees claiming to need time off because they've been abducted by aliens. <laughs> oh my god. That's hilarious. Hey, what's up, bro? Not gonna make it <laughs> in. Make it in. <laughs> Just got swooped up by those weird creatures in the sky. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? The rim you know? my asshole hurts. <laughs> Who puts this shit out? Like, who puts this shit the out? The prisoners are telling me they're doing anal probes yeah. this week. So it looks hey. like it's going to be a few days. <laughs> hey, I'm going to be in so much pain when I get out of there. It's going to be throwing in three days. Some three bosses days. have been told by employees that they have t- been taken by little green men and need time off to recover. <laughs> oh, my God. Little green men. See, that's where you go wrong. You can't describe no, them. No, no. Yeah, why do you At that green? point, just say your wife beats you or something. You know? It'll be more believable. My wife beat the shit out of me. My legs are broken. I can't make it. Some claim they've been experimented on oh, sexually listen you can experiment on me just make my dick bigger wow. <laughs> blow it up a little bit let's see how we make these human dicks bigger go ahead <laughs> go ahead start with me I want it huge I want that shit to leak out of my pants <laughs> I want that shit to fall out here I'd be like oh you want to see my dick look right here <laughs> there it is you see it that's the head, that's the head. Oh, I got I a be, fat mushroom that'd, head that'd be so gross a dick that hanging that long? Yeah. yeah, yeah. That'd be fucking if, insane. But but I'd, I'd, I'd take a fucking 11-incher. No way. It's way too I, big. I'd take An 11-incher? I'd love to pull that out and scare the I'd, shit out of my I'd wife. Most, my wife would be like, ah! I'd I'd be like, most, hey, girls, most girls won't enjoy that. That's too No, big. yeah, you put a couple inches in. <laughs> you know? You don't need the whole thing in there. Standing in the kitchen, hitting her in the bedroom. Yeah. You know? <laughs> hey, babe, turn around. I'm in your pussy. <laughs> and I'm eating a sandwich in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm inside you right now. Can you feel it? I feel like it'd be too much pressure. To like, 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 what if you hurt them? And like, I wouldn't want to deal with that. The fuck out of here, bro. Tan that ass up. <laughs> you a fuck? Oh, that's pain? You like that pain. Oh, my God. We're going to get more from that fucking asshole fucking on the fuck internet. Fuck that pussy. I'll knock you out in real life, you fucking loser. <laughs> the fuck? It's like you guys violent towards women. You guys are misogynist pigs and I'll slap the shit out of you in public. Bitch. <laughs> fucking pussy. Shout out to Patreon people. It <laughs> created quite a fucking uh, commotion. What are they doing? What are they saying? We'll talk about it on the Patreon. All right, cool. Oh, okay. They're not fucking little bitches like that guy. No, no we, pe- we get people like, I sur- I resubscribed. I'm like, all right, yeah, calm down. We'll, fucking, we'll talk about I'm it. I'm really, really sorry for what, what I did. I didn't pay my rent bill this fucking month, but I fucking signed back up. <laughs> I know. I, fuck I, you guys. I would feel terrible if that was the case. He was like, fuck, John yelled at me. <laughs> and uh, She's like, I need that money for the rent. I had to- John yelled at me. <laughs> John and Kevin yelled at me. You know, and she's like, fine, whatever. We won't feed the kids. <laughs> <laughs> How long have we been going? Not that long. Not Keep that going. Long. What do you got? Wow. 45 Bro, minutes. Well, I guess because they don't know about the trains, but I definitely think there's something behind those trains. Fuck the trains. What do you mean something behind it? Why would there be eight derailments in two I weeks? I think it happens all the time, but you just don't hear about it. That's what I just said. That's yeah. what I just said. I think I think it probably happens a lot more often than we think, but it it's It just never, doesn't always have fucking just, toxic chemicals. Right. Because yeah. the last one they reported the day before <laughs> yesterday was a train derailment. That had hazardous materials, but that didn't that, that didn't <laughs> leak. It didn't leak. It yeah. flowed. You know? A thousand derailments every year. Yeah, so a thousand. Der- okay. All right. All right. So yeah. they, yeah. what's the cool? So thing? that's a, they're trying to cover some other shit up. They're yeah. like they're like they're gonna figure out about the aliens. Start right. fucking crashing trains. Stop, <laughs> Stop, Stop crashing trains. Train. trains and reporting the crashes of the trains. Tell them there's fucking Viagra in it, thousand and it's causing derailments. fucking crazy shit in the air. Right. Everybody has a boner. <laughs> <laughs> Stefan talked about doing a cross country trip on a fucking. He did it like he got on a train. I like went, went cross across country the fucking. On a train. 
Yeah? I went from California to New York. That's cool. I would do that. It's fantastic. It's on a little a tr- boring. On a train? Yeah. Would from you do California that? to Chicago, no. they no? let you smoke. On a train? kind of like romantic. You know, read a book, write a novel. Can I have sex with my wife right. on this train? Like, Can you what? I mean, yeah. Can I have sex with my wife you on this sure train? You sure can. You, yeah, you, you have your own room? Yeah, you like that. You can get your own room. I had a seat, but you can get your own room. I'm not. I can't fuck my wife on a seat. No, so you got to buy a room. How much is the room? It's probably like a hundred. Two hundred bucks. You think people it's are really fuck- cheap? You think people are fucking on like in like first class? People are fucking yeah. wherever on a plane. People are fucking on the LIRR. Probably. People are fucking in the bathroom on a plane. What do you mean in first no, class? Not Nobody's the bur- no, nobody's ever fucking in the bathroom on a train. On a plane. What? That's what? Not fucking in bathroom. People it's too small. One hundred percent. That's happened. You for a fact. <clears throat> I've never fucked anybody in a plane. Well, you personally. Neither just, I. A hundred, a hundred like million people fly and per just day. Jesse's nice like, job. but I've never fucked. <laughs> this guy's flown like four times in the past fucking ten years, and he's like, I've never fucked on a plane. You, Listen, I've been on private jets my whole life. You and think I've never... you think people really fucking in an airplane? Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so I know that for a fact. All the time. You've known people that have done it. I've yeah I've I've at my work at my work yeah. people have done it. <laughs> people do it just to do it. It doesn't have to be a fucking thirty minute session. No, but it's too small. small. When you hook a small, I have sex in my front seat of my car. It's yeah, the same but there's shit. space. Where? It's gotta be a real little couple to fucking. Listen, bro. Do it you know all bathroom. I need is a half an inch <laughs> like this. That's all I need, baby. Yeah, there's no stroke space. It's like hold on, hold on. Is it in? Here we go. Okay, good. Ready, go. Mile. That's thirty percent of sex on planes with strangers. Interesting. Wow, very interesting. That's amazing. <laughs> His next date is oh. on a plane. <laughs> He's like, I love strangers. But wait a second. All right, wait all right. eleven thousand people surveyed from dating websites. Thirty percent say they hooked up on a plane. Five percent said they had sex. It's a lot of math, but you know, mm, yeah. it's just a lot of that's people. A lot of people are definitely, people are definitely having sex. Yes, but like, but well, first class is what I'm talking the about. Strangers, it's a is it like you just happen to sit next to somebody? Yeah, you got to yeah. be sitting next to them, right? What? Yeah, or you met them outside the gate or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. at the fun, Applebee's. Fun, the chick from San Diego on his <laughs> at the San Buffalo Diego. Wild Wings, <laughs> not on the plane, but he met up with the girl like a day later and had sex with her. It's great. Yeah, yeah. you're in close quarters. You know what someone said to me at work the other day? Do you think? Do you think flight attendants are sexy? A lot of flight attendants are fucking the pilots. The oh, pilots? Probably. No, probably so, so I once upon city. a time ran into, I was, I forget where I was, and there was a group of flight attendants, and we were drinking with them and hanging out, and they were saying how, like, all they do, they just fucking fuck each other. They like, All I the mean, guys are gay, and all the female flight attendants, like, it's just a big fucking- Who are they fucking? If all the guys are gay. Yeah, I know. Admit, all uh, the guys are gay, and they're yeah, fucking story, all the gay guys. My story, the math doesn't work out. <laughs> He's like, dude, they all fuck each other. All the women are lesbians. That's what my All the guys was. are gay, and then the girls and the guys get together. We have a friend who's a stewardess now. <laughs> he's a guy, so I don't think he's a stewardess. I actually was like- you make uh, him a steward? I used to have to do promotions. <laughs> I used to have to do that uh, promotions at the, uh, the hotel, the Marriott, next to where the Coliseum is. And a lot of the airlines stay there. And it's like the international ones, and it's just oh, truckloads. Free for all. International stewardess. They come. They fucking stay there for like one night. Go to the fucking, uh, they go to the mall and shit. That's all they do. And they fuck. <laughs> they, they go to the mall. And yeah. then they fuck. Pick up some. <laughs> pick they're up all fucking. Pick up some guy. Yeah. But I mean, they're flying from city to city. I, that would be tough for me. Gets like, lonely. As a husband. Gets lonely. She's like, okay, going to San Francisco. I don't think they're married. I think a lot of those, they're not married. I don't think a lot of those people are married. They would want to be married to somebody, yeah, doesn't no. it? But I no. think that like. Same thing like for a guy too. Like if you were a woman, you wouldn't want to be married to a guy who's a fucking. Doesn't have the biggest divorce stewardess? rate though. Still cops. Cops, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, st- I think that the the, uh, the airline thing is like, they have a lot of days off, I think. I think they, they do. do like yeah, straight yeah. 24, 48 hour true. runs. Yeah, they'll work. Off like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they nice. do do that. Maybe a nice way to work like, like that. Like a nurse. Firemen work like that. Yeah. I just hate planes, which is what I'm really. I hate planes, and I'm flying all these places this year, and I'm gonna be like, "Fuck!" I'm gonna be there with my earplugs, fucking I can't taking drama. Mean. When's the next one you gotta to do? Throw up. I'm actually driving to Boston, so I don't have to fly. When's that? Friday. Nice. And By then, yourself? No, me, Nikita, uh, Justin. He's gonna do all my video, and then my brother is gonna do my merch. Nice. Cool. I thought your wife couldn't go because of something. He's gonna bring it to everyone. Yeah. No, I'm not. I can't afford it. <laughs> he's he's like, like, no, I'm not. Kurt, how can I afford it? I'm only kidding. How can I afford it? You going to Scottsdale? 
No. <laughs> she's not She's not going anywhere except the only one she's going to is going to be Miami. She's not going to do L.A., huh? No. That's when you go to Miami, I'll go right now. <laughs> <laughs> Miami's in, a, uh, I think Miami's in June. Shit. Oof. Wrong time to be there. It's a great time to be I there. I would love to go. Best time to be in Miami. What you time? would not December, January. To no? be in the house. You don't look like a Miami person to me. You're we, not a Miami. We should guy. go and test it out. I feel like you're I a, do all right. You're a Nashville. Days. You're a Nashville guy. No, nah, fuck. I've been in Nashville. Nashville. I've been in Miami. You're a Nashville guy. Like a rock. Oh, pool, poolside Kurt. Like you come in everywhere, guy. I don't think so. No. Where am I not gonna have a good time? Miami's a tad bit ghetto. No, you're not. I'm not I go. No, I'm just saying. I you. I don't think it's your vibe. It's a club vibe. It's, it's all it's club. It's yeah, you're not a club guy. I'm not, I'm not saying it in a negative. But way. I would do it. I would totally do it for a day or two. I take you to Miami. And have a fucking great time. Let's do it, Jesse. Let's go. go to fucking Miami. Right, He's gonna, Jesse. We'll skip his show. Kurt's, we'll Kurt's gonna go there for, to Fountain Blue and be like, "This is crazy." <laughs> <laughs> With his cranberry vodka. Wow. <laughs> They put it's they put limes and cranberry vodka. Oh my god! <laughs> Since when? Can you, Kirk? Can you give me another I used fucking to drink Cheeto? Cranberry vodkas, and then I stopped because I thought I was getting made fun of. Last time I was there, so I used to love cranberry vodkas and screwdrivers. But then, but then and then you hear the one drink. the one dude comes up to you and he's like, <laughs> "My girl drinks that too." Exactly. And I'm like, "Fuck you! It's delicious." That's when you kick that guy directly in the chest. <laughs> it's delicious, you fucker. Pussy. You know now I just drink fucking. Straight vodka. I don't. That, that's something that like whiskey cokes. I feel like you drink what you like alcohol. Like you drink whatever you like. Well, I drink whiskey cokes. Now Anybody who's like that's a girly drink. Dude, like whiskey this is a makes me thing for some say. reason whiskey makes us? me happy. Is I that love, weird? I love whiskey. Whiskey makes me happy. It's the <clears throat> only alcohol that makes me happy. Tequila makes me cry. <laughs> whiskey also makes me punch. You know? <laughs> <laughs> With my dick. <laughs> oh, whiskey makes me makes me. <laughs> I had so many dick punch incidents with my whiskey. <laughs> whiskey. I don't like tequila, and not because like it. I like it, tequila, not because it fucks me up. I just, I just straight up don't like the taste. No, nope. you gotta take it with a line. I don't, I don't enjoy take it the taste, but I like to sip mm. on whiskey. Nice, neat, nothing. I love it. No, nah, I like and, and specifically cold. bourbon. I like scotch, but I prefer bourbon. I don't know. Whatever the brown shit is. Put that shit in my body. <laughs> With some Coke. Bro, all that shit tastes like fucking gasoline. I drink oh, whiskey yeah. Cokes. I drink whiskey Cokes before my show. They make me happy. Ugh. They make me happy. They do. My, I go tequila. I just hop on stage. I'm like, thank you. Right for coming. <laughs> <laughs> it all started when my dad yeah. left me. <laughs> so my dad's a dick. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I didn't thank you for buying tickets. <laughs> My wife is here and I love her so much. <laughs> <laughs> Have you cha- are you changing a lot for the next one or? No, I'm not changing. Uh, uh, so I changed a few things for governors. I'll change a few things for Boston. And then I'll change a few things here and there until it's, uh, Paramount. Nice. That's like the way to go, apparently. Because I don't, I don't know. I'm going based off of like, you know. Cause yeah, no, it's gonna it's gotta be pretty consistent until you ha- have that you, ending. Yeah, you have to like th- that's just the way it is, apparently. Like you, you continue to work on your set over yeah. and over. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you insert, take out, and then yeah. by the time the end of the year comes, you have a perfect set where it's like, okay, all these yeah. have been perfect. You know that they all work. And then you, you bring that to fucking Paramount. I pulled my pulled down my pants. Yeah, I'm gonna get wasted for that one. I'm gonna go. Paramount's ahead. gonna be dope. Paramount, I got a... we I'm gonna do a little lounge club underneath after. Help us. Small, found his room? Yeah, talk to him. Small. Yeah, he's the one who's hooking it up. Found his room. Small. Yes. Yeah, he's the one who's hooking it up. Um, <sighs> I've had some crazy nights down there. Oh, you've been there? Really? Yeah. When I used to sell beer, we used to go there all the time. How'd you know he was involved in that? Yeah, it's like a known thing? No, I mean, I know him. Oh, so you know like he's... That he's involved in that shit. But like involved how? Because he was just like, he's I'm going to hook you up. No, he's a member. You have to be a member. He's oh, a member. Oh, you have to be a member. Yeah. Ah, Okay. <clears throat> Cause yeah, he was like, he was like, do you want to do the founders after? And I was like, uh, yeah, hundred percent. I would love to do the founders. Are the founders going to allow me in? <laughs> They're like, whoa, Spick, at the door. Wait a second. It's like, nah, he's with the Hoppers. Come on in, brother. Come on in. You know, I'm like, yeah, I'm with them. I, I just did the show up there. Twelve hundred people. Am I allowed in? You know, it's like, I don't know. Hold on, Hopper, he's good. All right, come in. <laughs> Hey, listen, if you're going to show your dick only once. <laughs> oh, no, that's what they want down there. A lot of dicks. Like, oh, lot of dicks that's a lot of elite gay wow. shit? I love it. Bro, Let's do like, it. There's like hidden fucking sex rooms down there. 
place. What? Really? Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, babe, you're going to have to stay home. <laughs> <laughs> show's too close to home. Babe, no. no <laughs> what kind of music they so playing out there? buy one ticket. <laughs> <laughs> it's downstairs. I walked downstairs. My wife's like, where'd Kev go? He went downstairs to the founder's He went to one of the room. weird sex rooms. <laughs> he went to the founder's dungeon. Hopper has him bent over in a room. <laughs> Last I saw, he was wearing high heels. It's like, you want to be part of the Illuminati? This guy's got all leather on Last with a ball gag in his, his mouth. Was wearing high heels. <laughs> oh my god. Ken, no. those are nice stilettos. Oh shit. My wife walks in, I have red lipstick on, all leather. <laughs> she's like, she's like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, I don't know what's happening. They told me they were gonna Man, make me it's famous. The founders room. It's the founders room. They told me I'd they be famous by next to. week. They said I had to. This guy's holding a fucking spiked paddle over his shoulder. <laughs> He's like, back in the room, Isabella. <laughs> I'm like, my name's now Isabella. Go get me some tequila. They told me Kevin Hall was the Call last guy to do this. <laughs> Call the cops. They said it's a fucking, every comedian has done this when they came here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a founder Lord. now, babe. <laughs> <laughs> this is the founder's room. <laughs> Bend over. <laughs> That's amazing. I thought you said we were supposed to do the Patreon first this week. We forgot about that. Well, I mean, you're the producer, so. Shit. Oh. Next week. Uh, he just hit That's you right. John, week, had, John that. had the fucking, he had the shit. That I remember we had that conversation. I should remember, too. Next week, we're going to have to switch that up. Whatever. Next week, Patreon first. First. I don't know. I feel like this is good because it gets me nice and, like, looped Does, up for Patreon. Up. You know? Because yeah. I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm, like, here. <laughs> I'm, like, right here. And then Patreon comes. I'm, like, yeah. You so the dude who commented on that. Hop on the Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> you have a fucking heart attack. He'd be, like, like, be like, we have to screen record this and put it out to the masses. This is like, crazy. I just want to let everybody know that millennials like are telling old jokes. <laughs> and like you've had some telling these jokes for like so long. And, and like my funny. pussy is flaring up, but I'm a dude. I don't even know what All a millennial right. is. Sorry. I like <laughs> Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you to be on the Patreon. Let's do the Patreon. Thanks. We're gonna do the Patreon? Let's do it. All right, love you, bye. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> kiss, kiss. <laughs>